Hello again. We are moving on in this unit of trigonometry. We're going to talk about problem solving uh, using trigonometry. So we're going to be given word problems, um, not pictures with things already labeled. We're going to have to figure out what those pictures look like ourselves. So let's get to it. It's 9.3. Uh, so let's get started. So there are certain steps that you need to follow when we're solving these. We need to first of all draw a picture if one isn't given to us. And we're going to label everything we know and everything that we're asked to find. Okay, we're going to find all the right triangles because that's all we know about trigonometry right now is that it exists in right triangles. Um, and we're going to use SOHCAHTOA to, to solve it. Figure out which ratio we need and use that ratio to solve the problem. Okay, so here's an example. We have Sarah looking out her apartment window to a building that's 20 feet away from her building. She looks up at an angle of 35 degrees to see the top of the building and she looks down at an angle of 70 to see the bottom of the building. So how tall is the building? Okay, so let me draw a picture. Here is Sarah's building and the other building. So she's looking uh, across 20 feet if she looks straight across. If she looks up, that's a 35 degree angle. And if she looks down, that's a 70 degree angle. So I can see where the two right triangles are. They're stacked on top of each other. They have a common side that's 20 feet. And I need the opposites of those triangles. Okay. So uh, looking at that, I have the adjacent for both triangles is 20, and I need to find the opposite of each triangle and add them together to get the total height. So there they are. Um, I'm going to call the opposite of the top triangle x, and I'm going to call the opposite of the bottom triangle y, and I'm going to add those together to get the total height. So in that top triangle, I have the opposite and the adjacent that I'm working with. So that's tangent. The tangent of 35 is going to be the opposite x over the adjacent 20. Cross multiply and I get that x is equal to 20 times the tangent of 35, which is 14.004 feet. Now turning my attention to the bottom triangle, the opposite is y, the adjacent is 20, so I'm using tangent again. This time it's the tangent of 70, uh, which is the opposite y over the adjacent 20. Cross multiply, I get y is equal to 20 times the, the tangent of 70, so y is 54.950. So if I add x and y together, I should get the total height of the building, which is 68.954. Okay, now here's a tricky example. Uh, we have Jack standing and looking at the top of a flagpole at an angle of 70 degrees. He then walks eight feet away and looks up at the top of the pole again. And now this time the angle of elevation is 60 degrees. So how tall is the flagpole? So there's the flag, and then here he is looking up at an angle of 70 degrees. He takes a walk eight feet backwards, and now when he looks up, it is 60 degrees. Okay, so that's kind of the diagram. I can't really see any uh, right triangles in there unless I draw in this uh, extra length here, which is x. I don't need to know what x is to, you know, as the answer to this question, but I will need to know what it is to get me to the answer, which is actually that height, that h, the height of the flagpole. Okay, so here are a couple of triangles. I can see one. It's really hard for me to see the second one because these triangles actually overlap. So let's split this problem into two triangles. Okay, so I have one where the bottom side is 8 plus x and the right side is h and the angle is 60 degrees. And then in the second one, the bottom side is just x um, the right side is H again, and the angle is 70 degrees. So looking at the left triangle, I've got the opposite and the adjacent again. So that's the tangent. The tangent of 60 degrees is going to equal my opposite H over my adjacent X plus 8. So if I cross multiply, that's what I get. Uh, 8 plus X times the tangent of 60. So that's 8 times the tangent of 60 plus X times the tangent of 60 if I distribute, use the distributive property on the right hand side. Now from the right triangle, I've got opposite h and I've got adjacent x, so I'm dealing with tangent. The tangent of 70 is h over x. If I cross multiply, I get that the height is x times the tangent of 70. So what I have is I have this variable h that's equal to two different things. And so if it's equal to two different things, then those two things are equal to each other. So that's my next step in doing this. I'm going to set the, the h's equal to each other. So the first time, h was equal to 8 times the tangent of 60 plus x times the tangent of 60. And the second time, h was equal to x times the tangent of 70. So those are equal to each other. 
I'm going to move all the x's to the right. That means that my x tan 60 that's on the left needs to be subtracted. So that's what I have. I'm solving for x, so I'm going to factor x out of everything that is on the right. So that gives me x times the tangent of 70 minus the tangent of 60. Now that's not just the tangent of 10. You can't um, make things as simple as that. So we actually have to calculate those separately and then subtract them. So x is going to be equal to 8 times the tangent of 60 over the tangent of 70 minus the tangent of 60 degrees. I can type that all into a calculator all at one time and get my answer of 13.646. That was not the height of the flagpole. So how do I get to the height of the flagpole? Um, now that I know how far away he was standing, that's my x. I can plug it into either one of those equations that says h equals something, now that I know what x is. So I'm going to pick the easiest one that says that h is equal to x times the tangent of 70. So that's going to be 13.646 times the tangent of 70, which is going to be 37.5. So that means the flagpole is 37.5 feet tall. So that's a really tricky example, but we are going to find an easier way to do that, just not today. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know, and I will see you tomorrow.